I am a youth. And I have a good life. Or, that's what I believe. Let's take a look. I love listening to good music. I go frequently out with friends, and we love trying new things. Although, it doesn't always turn out good. Is that why I finished my ex? No, it can't be. I told myself I hated playing online, but there's just this one level I cannot pass. And outside of that, I should be maybe studying or, or working. But if I fail, is it possible that I can try it? Should I have a purpose? Right? Could I be a youth that's successful? Welcome to the sixth topic of the successful youth series of the Rescue Project. Greeting you is Pastor Paula Hunger, director of the Rescue Project, and speaking to you from this opportunity in the areas of Washington, D.C., in the United States. Here we once again to share an important topic to every young person's life. Today's topic is entitled, The Influence of Music on My Development. Music is part of everyday life in society. Each country and culture has its typical music. We live surrounded by music in public transportation, in stores, on TV, in movies, and throughout daily activities. It is also very common to see young people with their headphones on listening to music or people doing an activity, being happy while surrounded by music. Music not only nonces an environment but has a very great influence on those who listen to it. It is because of this that in certain commercial places, music is used to motivate the customer to buy more. From an early age, parents use music to calm a crying baby or to reassure them through it and thus help them sleep. Sports teams use a specific song to cheer them up before starting a game and natives used music and loud rhythms played on drums to appear for war. But not only do we have the effect of music on the mind and body, of which we see that certain music relaxes us, and other music lifts us up, accelerating our heart rhythm, but the lyrics also have another effect on our life. Since our childhood, We've learned songs that help us remember names or memorize verse. My children learn to remember the names of the U.S. states and the capitals memorizing a certain song about them. But not just to memorize, but romantic lyrics motivate a young person to think about their girlfriend or a couple to have a special moment. Music is a tool with very great scope in the life of a human being. I personally love music, as do my wife and children, and it's been a hobby since childhood. Not only do we sing, but we also like to play instruments, listen to music, etc. As adults, we know that music can brighten our mood, motivates us to exercise faster and longer, it can increase our romantic senses, or it can calm us down when we are depressed or tired. It can energize us or put us to sleep. The influence of music is experienced in all stages of life, but it is especially marked and evident in the stages of adolescence and youth. It is a stage of life where the person develops countless emotions that need to be organized and where the most important decisions of life are made. Therefore, a young person must take care of himself because music can greatly influence these decisions. According to the Kaiser Family Foundation, children and teens typically spend more than two hours a day listening to music through the radio, phones, MP3 players, and music platforms, etc. They also watch music videos from their favorite artists and songs on TV websites and videos that are shared because visual images can increase the effect of the music. Music 
often provides enjoyment to children and teens. But some studies have shown that music lyrics and images can have a significant impact on the way young people think, feel, and behave. Children and teens often imitate what music artists do and say, trying out new roles as their personal identity develops. Music provides a way for young people to express and explore their feelings and emotions. Therefore, music can have a position, but also a very negative effect on the lives of adolescents and young people. What are the positive effects of music? For example, certain encourage coordinations, certain can be smoothing during anxious or stressful situations, it teaches rhythm, and this is in turn teaches movement, it develops the right hemisphere of the brain, but also develops the skill of the left hemisphere. It helps increase interaction with others, increases expressions, stimulates responses. Music is something you can enjoy anywhere. Disabled children may excel in musical skills. They can also provide an outlet for artistic children. It stimulates and calms children with neurological disorders. It helps children with Down syndrome. It may also provide a calming effect for children with emotional disorders. Many effects of the positive music. There's a, an effect that is called the Mozart effect. It is a theory that the Mozart effect states that the teenagers and young people who listen to certain types of music, such as classical music, will be brighter, more skilled in terms of motor skills, and will have higher cognitive abilities than teenagers and young people who don't listen to this type of music. They will also learn faster and retain more information than teens and young people who don't listen to that kind of music. Researchers have studied great groups of adults and children who listen to classical, baroque music at about 60 beats per minute. They use music from composers such as Bach, Handel, Vivaldi, Mozart, and Pacheve. Results showed that listening to this type of music, and precisely at this ratio of beats per minute, increases retention and decreases stress and tension while trying to learn. It is claimed that by employing the right music at the right time, it's possible to activate the right and left hemisphere stimulations. Right and left hemisphere simultaneously, increasing the learning rate by five times more than the normal. Certain types of music have been found to be beneficial in reducing blood pressure and heart rate, while in other cases, it has improved neurological functions, memory, time control, and language functions. The negative and destructive themes of some type of music can greatly affect their development. The following themes, which often appear in some lyrics, can be particularly problematic. Abuse and promotion of drugs and alcohol. Suicide as an alternative or solution violence, sex, devaluation of women or violence against women, marches that are headed towards a, or promoting war. Let's analyze some of these dangers mentioned in music. Certain music pr promotes sexualized behavior. Most music lyrics that mention sex do not discuss the dangers of sexual activity such as unplanned pregnancies or sexually transmitted diseases, nor do they mention the sex outside of marriage is a serious mistake and sin. But on the contrary, they mentioned it as an experience that young person shouldn't lose. Music often glorifies promiscuity and promotes gender stereotypes. According to a study published by a journal of pediatrics entitled Exposure to degrading verses, non-degrading music lyrics, 
and sexual behavior among youth. Teens who hear degrading sex sexual lyrics in stylish such as rap or rock are more likely to have kids or are more likely to engage in incorrect and even risky sexualized behavior. Dangering lyrics not only drive a sexual relationship out of the wedlock, but also portray men as sex-driven and women as sex objects. A totally wrong picture of what sex life is within the marriage. This causes problems even in marriage couples due to the erroneous understanding of intimate life. Daniel Levitine, professor of psychology and music at McGill University in Canada, mentioned that certain music stimulates the hormones oxytocin and serotonin, which is responsible for bonding, trust, and intimacy. Hence, the importance of a teenager and young person avoiding romantic music that can drive them to act incorrectly and damage their future. We also said that music increases the rate of suicides. Let's look at some of these points. Research on whether music can increase a teen's risk of suicide has been proven by different organizations. When the letters talk about death and suicide, the American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatric warns that song lyrics focusing on death and suicide make suicide seem like a good solution to problems. According to an article published by the journal Pediatrics, Heavy metal and some rock music have been associated with some studies with an increased risk of suicide. Researchers Stephen Stack of Wayne State University and Jim Gunloch of Auburn University hypothesized that the themes of often presented in country songs lyrics such as marital discord, alcohol abuse, and alienation from work may foster a suicidal mood among those already at risk. Stack and Gunlach conducted a multiple regression analysis of 49 metropolitan areas and found that longer the airtime developed to country music, the higher is the suicide rate in their paper. The researchers explained that the effect is dependent of divorce, poverty, and the availability of weapons. Their analysis includes 1,400 popular country songs and found that about three quarter contain lyrics related to love issues. Additionally, country songs often portray alcohol consumption as a necessary method of dealing with life's problems and touch on themes of hopelessness, dissatisfaction with work, financial strain, and loneliness. In addition, Stack and Gunlach note that many of these topics have strong links to the rising rates of suicidal thoughts. An analysis was made of the cause of death from a large number of musicians and contained conclusion was reached. Suicide accounted for nearly 7% of all deaths in total sample. However, for punk music, Suicide accounted for 11% of deaths, for metal music, a staggering 19.3%. Murder accounted for 6% of deaths, according to the sample. But was the cause of 51% of deaths in rap music and 51.5% of deaths in hip-hop music to date? This could be due to the strong association of these genders with drug-related crimes and gang culture. Blues singers routinely sing about topics such as unhappiness, anguish, depression, sadness, despondency, problems with uh, grievances, misery, worries, despondency, dissolution, misery, melancholy, despair, and heartbreak. This style of music does not contribute to emotional balance. Another, the music that talks about violence. Hearing lyrics involving guns, violence, 
and aggressive behavior can have a negative influence on young people. According to 2003, study published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology, violent lyrics increase both aggressive thoughts and feelings. The study also warns repeated exposure of violent lyrics can contribute to the development of an aggressive personality. During five experiments with 75 female and 70 male college students, it was shown that those who heard a violent song felt more hostile than those who heard a non-violent song by the same artist and style. The study showed that violent songs led to more aggressive thoughts on three different measures. More aggressive interpretations when looking at an ambiguous words, a greater speed with which people read aggressive words compared to a non-aggressive ones, and a higher proportion of people filling out aggressive words by filling in blanks on forms of given to them during the study. Let us remember that during the adolescence, in the progress of finding their own identity, many young people enter into crisis regarding their relationship with their parents. If we add this into the influence of certain type of music to this, then there is a danger that the young person will feel even more motivated to react aggressively with his parents and to consider this attitude as normal. In an article published on the renowned CNN News network entitled How Music can change the way you feel and act, the following was mentioned. A UK study explored how rap music, characterized by menacing lyrics, could be linked to the crime that seeks to attract attention. The story of these songs is about gang rivalry, and unlike other genres, the audience could judge the performer based on whether he will follow through on what he claims in his lyrics. Writes studying about Craig Pickney, criminologist, a professor of University of Birmingham in the United Kingdom. Violence produces violence. This is why young people should avoid this type of music. Our Heavenly Father advises us in Psalms saying, Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man which imagine mischief in their heart. Continually are they gathered together for war. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Adders poison in under their lips. Say along. Psalms 140 verses 1 to 3. According to this inspired writing, many types of music that promote violence and sin are full of poison. Therefore, dear young people, get away from these types of music. We also have the style of music that promotes the use of alcohol and drugs. Drug and alcohol use is mentioned and promoted in the lyrics of many songs and in music videos. The John Hopkins Children's Center reports that alcohol is portrayed in music videos once every 14 minutes. According to another study published in the Pediatric Journal, increased television and music video viewing are risk factors of the onset of alcohol consumption in adolescents. Music often portrays substances as a great without showing the negative consequence of addiction. Another study mentioned that young people who listen to rap and rock songs are more likely to get involved in drugs. This is because in some songs, artists refer to drugs that the person has not heard of which arouses their curiosity to learn and most likely try new drugs. There are some hip-hop and rag songs that actually inspire destructive behavior such as substance abuse. Listening to heavy metal music has been linked to depression, crime, smoking, and behavioral problems more commonly known as mood disorders. Fans of heavy metal music and rap are a higher risk of engaging in incorrect behaviors. Because of this, the Book of Books, the Holy Bible, advises us to sing with the understanding or awareness 
of what each song says. What is it then? I will pray with the Spirit, and I will pray with understanding also. I will sing with the Spirit, and I will sing with the understanding also. 1 Corinthians 14.15 But we don't only have the negative aspect of certain lyrics, but also a certain music style. Certain levels of tonality in music can have a determinant effect. It is said that the sheer squeal of guitars or other instruments in heavy metal music can have an unsettling effect and can cause nervousness, anxiety, and depression on listeners. Noise is not music. Noise alters the nervous system, unlike music, which is based on an appropriate development of melody, harmony, and rhythm. No analysis showed that the anxiety and neuroticism were higher in participants who tended to listen to sad or aggressive music to express negative feelings, particularly in men. This listening style results in the sense of expression of negative feelings, not necessarily improving negative mood, says Dr. Suvi Sarakioli co-author of the study and development of the music in mood regulation. Therefore, we can conclude by saying that music can have a positive as well as a negative influence on the life of a young person, depending on what type of genre of music he listens to. It is very important not to get carried away by all kinds of music, but each young person must learn to select the type of music they listen to and must also say no to certain styles of music. As we have seen, rap, rock, pop, country, amongst other styles of music are not appropriate for healthy development of a young person. On the other hand, classical music helps the development of the mind. Sacred music elevates the thoughts of a teenager and a young person towards God. An article published, The Gerontologist, reports that listening to religious music is associated with decreased in death and anxiety and increased life satisfaction, self-esteem, and sense of control over their lives. The young people, devote more time to classical music that gladdens your spirit and above all sacred music that elevates your thoughts to God. Music that helps you remember God's promises and is helpful in overcoming temptation. It's preferable to sing rather than just to listen to music. Singing is beneficial for your intellect, your mood, your lungs, your musical ear, and your memory to remember the messages that the music contains. Sing praises to God and sing with other young people sacred music. Develop your talent with, for learning an instrument that can glorify God. Although you have to practice a lot, be consistent in practice, and with God's help, you will be able to learn an instrument. In the book of books, the Holy Bible, in Proverbs 29, verse 6, we read, In the transgression of an evil man there is a snare, but the righteous doeth sing and rejoice. Look for music that doesn't trap you in a sin or transgression, but one that brightens your life and praises God. Psalm 98, verse 4, also encourages by, by saying, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all the earth. Make a loud noise and rejoice and sing praise. May our singing aim to praise God as a creator and remember his wonderful promises. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with song of deliverance. Selah. Psalms 32 verse 7. Dear your youth, Look for music that can give you peace and true liberation that is found when we have a clean conscience free from guilt or sin. My wife tells me that when she was about 13 years old and living in Switzerland, while on the bus to school and in public places as well as during breaks between classes, the rock music of the ACDC group was heard. It was a long time ago. It was music that 
became so popular and teenagers liked to listen to his music very quickly became admirers of this group. My wife being exposed to this group felt a certain attraction, but she knew that it does not come from God because of the message contained in the song. My wife tells me that she started to pray and it was up to her to make a decision. She realized that if she had put her ear to this music, it would affect her in all areas of her life. Her friends, her lifestyle, her goals, her life with God, her hobbies, etc. Praying to God, struggling between good and evil, she asked God to help her not fall into the trap that this music was. In her mind, my wife made the decisions to not listen to this music, even if it were playing in a public environment. Not paying attention to this music that speaks about feelings. She says that this decision was the utmost importance in her life because it has protected her from leaving God and of not following a path that copies practices common in the world that oppose God's will. Music affects our daily lives without us noticing. Today, my wife teaches music how to play instruments, both the children and young people who seek to use their talents to praise our Creator. That is why God counsels us telling in Psalms 47 verse 6, Sing praises to God, sing praises, sing praises to our King, sing praises. The music that will help you be a successful young person is the music that elevates you to God, to His truth, and to values that do not change. Values that will be a daily guide in your life. Before concluding, I want to say a prayer for you so that God can give you strength to turn away from music that harms your life with both the lyrics and the musical style. Look for music that can bring you joy, but this is linked to eternal values, to the beautiful promises of the Word of God. Bow your heads so that I can pray for you at this time. Our dear Father who art in heaven, Lord, we come unto you in this moment to give you thanks, Lord. We can hear your beautiful birds singing your nature. You created the music, Lord. You gave us this beautiful talent that helps us to relax, to elevate. But also the devil tries to use this music to bring bad influences, bad points of view, bad or, or wrong thoughts of violence. Lord, I ask you for the youth and for their habits as well, Lord, with their fight with music. Help them to make a firm decision and say no to the music that affects their lives. And to take a decision to listen to music, to healthy music, music that elevates you, music that inspires, classical music also that can help them in their, in their growing. Lord, we give you our lives. We, we ask you to free the youth from the traps of the devil, of music that destroys their future, their life, and their health. Lord, we give this to you at this time. Bless the youth. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Dear youth, in our next and last topic of this youth series, we will share the main topic of the series, Successful Youth. Don't miss this important tip to be a successful youth in life. God bless you.